Hey, it's TC McCarthy. Thanks for tuning in. You came here just in time. Today, we're going to cover the concept that I first encountered in Traveler. I'm a huge Traveler role play game, role playing game fan. And um, this concept I hadn't even known about before. I think I was like 12, 13, 14 years old at the time until I encountered it. And it's the concept of this thing that Traveler calls the Gauss rifle. In my books, I call it the Maxwell carbine. But it's this idea of, of the coil gun, of the infantry man portable coil gun that can accelerate tiny projectiles like needles to hypervelocity. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is TC McCarthy, the most handsome and entertaining science fiction author on the internet. Well, maybe on video at least. Don't forget, my new book, Tiger Burning, comes out July 2nd. Pew! Did a video here explaining why I need you to pre-order it. So please, 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 if you got $16, $17 that's burning a hole in your pocket, why not spend it there? Now, moving on to the topic of the day, the Gauss rifle or coil gun or Maxwell carbine, depending on what term you want to use. This thing is awesome. Now, it doesn't exist today, obviously, but the concept is awesome. So let me go through what I'm going to talk about first is this, you know, the general science fiction kind of esque view of the coil gun. And then I'll talk about more of the reality of where we are today. And sadly, we're, the two are very, 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 let me do it this way, very, very, very far apart. We're very far from having in reality something like you would encounter in the travel universe. So in science fiction, the coil gun concept is basically you have some sort of a big magazine in my book, I use a hopper that's basically belt fed where projectiles are fed into the chamber of this gun. And the projectiles, when you pull the trigger, are fired at a high rate and are accelerated down the length of the barrel by a series of magnets or a coil or something like that, like you would see in a rail gun, to the point where once they leave the, the barrel, they're going in excess, well in excess of multiple times the speed of sound. And in my books, I basically use flechettes. It's essentially a long needle with a, um, with a fin for stability or weighted more in the front for stability, whatever. I didn't really think the concept all the way through to the details like that, but you get the picture. And flechettes as, as projectiles are superior. They're fantastic, uh, depending on the material they're made of, how much, how fast you can get them going. They're very good in some cases at penetrating armor, which was an important consideration in my book, Germline. Now in Traveler, the concept is very much the same. I used to have these little 15 millimeter uh, Jodani figures, right? Uh, where they were in battle dress and they were carrying what looked, I, I'm guessing they're Gauss rifles. They had coils around the barrel and it was a really cool looking concept. So you've got, a, you've got this, this awesome man portable kind of weapon, fires at incredibly high rates of speed. Uh, so it's fully automatic and accelerates these projectiles to insane rates of speed and you get hit with one or more of these things basically the kinetic energy is going to punch a hole right through you and you're going to be you're going to have a very 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 bad day now do we have them today no what do we have today well go ahead and google gauss rifle and see what you get basically you get these experiments where you have magnets and steel balls and you get one shot you line up the magnets on a ruler and you get one shot where you release the steel ball at the back it acts very much like a croquet kind of thing where the steel ball hits the magnet it might not even be a, a, a magnet that it hits i can't remember but the kinetic energy of one steel ball hitting the first block basically sends in a chain reaction until finally you get one steel ball at the end pooting off in a single direction there are also hobbyists version of a gauss rifle where essentially you know these things will shoot a projectile basically at the velocity of an air rifle using a single kind of stage or a single coil and those are those are neat but they don't have the high rate of fire um, it may be one per, per pull of the trigger I can't remember um, but anyway these are not anything near what you would you would have to have for for something to be effective on the battlefield and then there are different concepts for projectiles like if you use a discarding sabo kind of round uh, where basically the the projectile itself might not be ferromagnetic might not be a ceramic that has magnetic properties, but the sabo around it does. It might have a coil uh, embedded in the in the thing, so that as as this thing gets accelerated down the barrel, once it leaves the barrel, a discarding sabo. The concept is the the things that actually encapsulate the projectile break apart and fly off. That's where the discarding comes from, and then the projectile itself continues on to the target. So you've got all sorts of different kind of nuances. I'm not going to go into the details in the science. There are some problems with developing a, a Gauss rifle that can be man-held. First of all, one of them is power. 
right? You're gonna, you know, how do you get, how do you power something like this that right now to get things up to, to large velocities? You have to use something that resembles a rail gun, something they'd put on a ship or something like that. So, you know, I don't know how we're gonna get to man, man portable Gauss rifles. I don't know if we ever will, but we will certainly get to the stage of developing a fieldable rail gun, which operates on the same principle. It's just, it just might not have the, the kind of uh, rapid rate of fire that we're looking for, right? But it's definitely gonna have the hyper velocity. And so it's gonna do a lot of damage. Now that makes me depressed. As a military science fiction author, I invest a lot in these concepts that maybe one day they'll become reality. I hope this one does, but we're a long way from getting there. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's just a question of materials, right? Coming up with some sort of superconductor that works at, at uh, hot temperatures or something like that. You know, those sorts of things might help us, you know, push something over the edge, but new, brand new battery technology of some kind that we can't even envision at this point. Maybe, maybe once we get, if we, if we get some breakthroughs in those areas, we'll start to see, uh, you know, uh, some real progress in research and development of man portable systems that act like a rail gun and get us closer to having that Gauss rifle in our hands or that Maxwell carbine in our hands. That's all I have for this episode. Again, please pre-order my book, picture of it right here, links below, and transmission. Hey, TC McCarthy here, the most eclectic and entertaining science fiction author on YouTube, maybe even the internet. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. As usual, buy my books. I've got a new one coming out in July, and uh, I'll have a giveaway coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate you subscribing to my channel, and please, 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 please don't forget to click that little bell icon so that whenever I upload new content, you get notified. Thanks again. See you soon.